Eastbound 91 passing the Tustin off ramp. Probably what's going to happen next. Oh, he's suddenly speeding way up. No? Near Imperial. Oh, just cut in front of somebody there. We have CHP. Looks like he's going to try to get off at Imperial Highway. No, back on. Boy, this is a desperate driver here. He is. Oh, he's hit that truck. He's hitting. He's hit. Oh, he's t just swipe swiping vehicle after vehicle. Eastbound on the 91 and Imperial Highway hit numerous cars there. He's hitting more. Wow. Now we're going to see. Looks like more. Yep, he is just going through vehicle after vehicle there. We're now in the fast track lanes, eastbound side of the 91, Imperial Highway. Uh, this is a dangerous situation. Okay, now the, here's where we're going to get. We may see some very interesting activity here. We have a full freeway closure up ahead. He's really speeding up. Oh, oh. boy, the CHP. Do you see the door open on the CHP unit? No. Nope. Oh, another vehicle just got slammed by this. That's at least... That's at least four, maybe five vehicles that I've seen hit now on uh, the eastbound 91 here. Spike strip. Spike strip right there. Yep. Oh. Oh, we're going to see an accident here, it looks like. Yep. Oh, he has lost that front tire. He has absolutely lost that front tire. I'm surprised we're not seeing sparks at this point. He is, look at, he is spinning his steering wheel left and right, and uh, we're going to see what happens here. This uh, looks like it may be coming to a conclusion. He is just scraping the side of the car now, apparently having no control over the steering. Oh, oh, he hit some more, uh, looks like some more concrete there. We are in the Santa Ana Canyon. Uh, let's see, we are just, oh, he, this is just get going from bad. So your fast track lanes there on the eastbound side of the 91, your fast, oh, there's the sparks. We have not even a remnant of a wheel left on that vehicle. Nothing, yeah. HP officers, you can see, look at him trying to accelerate with those rear wheels full speed. They're not going to go anywhere now, so at this point, uh, this is where it's going to get really uh, s stressful for the officers because he has no place to go. Don't have a way of knowing what's going on in that car. Uh, they don't know if he's passed out. They don't know if he's laying in wait for them to come up to the car and open fire on them. We, they just don't have a way to know. And in the absence of that knowledge, they may want to choose for uh, those vehicles that the SWAT people uh, have are thickly armored. They, they are, uh, you know, uh, bulletproof in most cases. Yes, and actually I'm going to pan to the west here and show you the eastbound traffic. And I just noticed in that eastbound traffic, I'm also seeing some more police activity coming our way. We're kind of in the dark just as much as you are as to what's exactly going on. I can, I can do a few little things to get in there and look at it, but not too much. What you're seeing is about what we, uh, what we can get right now. Look like f almost like fireworks. I see people moving in the dark there, a lot of m motion in the dark. They're in the car. That's the back of the car there, I do believe. A uh, suspect wanted in connection with an attempted murder in the Compton area. And uh, the vehicle, uh, in avoiding the other uh, police cars behind it, tried uh, numerous times, weaving in and out of traffic, slammed into other vehicles. A lot of damage done here on the 91 freeway and a lot of damage done to people's uh, lives and plans for the evening, for sure, on this uh, Cinco de Mayo. A lot of people st just stuck for miles and miles and miles on both directions of this freeway. But the good news here is that suspect has been taken into custody. And as you can see at the bottom of your screen, we have traffic moving through on the westbound side of the freeway.